was two. So we have more autofocus points now, 273. And of course, contrast autofocus is two times faster. What does this mean? Autofocus performance is significantly faster and more accurate than before. Now let's go naman to design and operability. So if you look at the design of the X-Pro2, so it, it, it looks very similar to the X-Pro1. However, uh, we totally refreshed uh, the design. So we would like to actually do uh, our, our photographers to concentrate on shooting. So as you can see, every buttons and key functions are all on the right part of the camera. So you have the focus lever, uh, you have the ISO dials and shutter speed uh, on the top. So all on the right part of the camera. So when you use the camera, you're, you're able to operate the, uh, the X-Pro2 with just one hand and concentrate um, your eyes on the viewfinder. So um, this is the, uh, a, new, uh, a new feature of the X-Pro2 for the one-handed operation. And of course, let's look at the top of the X-Pro2. Uh, this is the X-Pro1. So one of the, again, one of the DNA of Fujifilm is actually dial-based intuitive operability. So this, you, you cannot, you, you're, you're not able to experience intuitive dial operation with your DSLRs or other cameras. And um, we, we pride ourselves in having cameras with dial, um, dials and buttons outside of the camera. So in addition to um, the shutter speed dial, we have the ISO dial built in, the shutter speed dial. So what you do, um, you pull up mo siya and then you, you, you turn it. So it's very similar to the old film camera. So there's that old vintage feel, retro feel of um, film cameras. And of course, shutter speed. If you've owned um, an XT1 or other X series cameras, that day it's until one over four thousand of a second. So now the mechanical shutter is up to one over eight thousand of a second. And of course, the exposure compensation uh, dial. So as you can see, there's a letter C. So what does this do? If you put it on C, you can actually um, adjust the exposure compensation by plus minus five. So imagine the highlights or the shadows that you can recover by just turning it to C plus five, plus or minus five. So basically the whole, um, the X-Pro2, before you even open the camera, you can set your ISO, your aperture, your preferred exposure compensation, your, your aperture on the, on the ring, uh, your shutter speed, so everything is outside. With, before you even turn it on, you set it and that you cannot do with other cameras. And of course, again, I said that the, there's a new uh, maximum shutter of one over 8,000 of a second. And this is interesting, the eight-way focus lever. Uh, I'd like you to try it later in the touch and try. Because that thing is with the XT1, you have to like press um, the, the one button first before you can move the AF points. Now, diretso na. This is an eight-way, uh, up, down, side, side, tapos diagonal. So um, it's very intuitive because when you're shooting, you're, you're looking into the viewfinder, and then you just um, use the joystick to move your AF area, so your AF points. I mean. um, and then, of course, you have dual SD card slots. So if you're, you're, you're really big on shooting, like festivals or like, um, you're in advertising, you have like two SD card slots already uh, for you. And of course, we have a higher resolution LCD screen and um, weather resistant. Now, you, uh, weather, uh, well, new weather resistant body, so they have confidence in shooting outside under the rain. Um, so snow, so it's um, very possible already. Now, um, let's go to the uh, new XE2. So the XE2 has been around for two years already. And uh, still, it's still a very popular camera for photographers. And of course, um, Fujifilm we take pride in being a company that listens to our to our consumers. So we have we have received a lot of requests na parang upgrade, please upgrade the XE2 already. And so we are introducing the XE2S with the latest firmware. So aside from these uh, features already uh, in the XE2 body, the XE2S will get 
the new AI system, the new uh, high ISO sensitivity is now up to 51,200. It gets an, ele an electronic shutter. And of course, it has an auto scene recognition. There's an auto button at the back already. So this is a sample by um, uh, our ex-photographer, Jan Gonzalez, the very talented Jan Gonzalez. So he used the XE2S uh, for this photo. So what does this mean to the existing uh, XE2 consumers? So do they need to upgrade to the XE2S? They, do they need to buy a new camera? Of course not. Um, we are offering a firmware up update coming February 2016. So it will make the functionality of the XE2 the same as the XE2S. So again, this is the hallmark of Fujifilm. Um, we, we religiously give upgrades, firmware upgrades to our um, consumers. So, of course, let's go to the lens systems. Over the past four years, we have been working hard to expand the lineup of the systems. I remember when we launched the X-Pro1, we only had three lenses. 60, macro, 18mm, and the 35mm. And then we started expanding. We, had, we now have zooms, we now have white primes, we have telephoto primes, we have like a teleconverter already, 1.4 times. We have premium zooms. And now, we are very glad to introduce to you our super telephoto, well, super telephoto. Our super telephoto lens, which is the XF100 to 400, F4.5 to 5.6, R, L, M, O, I, S, W, R, 1, And R is aperture ring, L, M is a linear motor, which later I'll explain. OIS is the optical image stabilization, and WR is better resistant. So now we are very proud to say that after just four short years, we have expanded the lineup to 21 lenses already. So I know when we first started, people were a bit hesitant to shift to the mirrorless the exterior system because we didn't have lenses. But now we can confidently say that hey, all you need is here already. So. So the XF100 to 400 after expands the shooting range of X series dramatically. So, for, so now we cover from 10 mm to 560 mm. So let's see. This is 10 mm. This is by Jeff Carter, an ex photographer. There's 16. There's 50. There's 100. There's 140 from the 50 to 140. There's 400 mm. And of course, 560 mm. This is with the uh, uh, 100 to 400 with uh, 1.4 teleconverter. So we have basically pretty much covered already from your landscapes to portraits to birding actually. So let, let's look at the key features of the X, uh, XF 100 to 400. First, of course, again, um, Fujifilm, when we talk about Fujifilm cameras and lenses, it's always about image quality. So first, I'm going to talk about image quality. So actually, in theory, when you make a super telephoto lens, it's actually very prone to chromatic aberration. So this is the challenge for every lens manufacturer. So what we did was we put as many as six ED lens, it's an extra dispersion lens, including one super ED lens, for us to give you images full of color, full of detail without false colors. So later, I hope you can touch and try the XF100 to 400 and see how it um, gives you very beautiful images even at 400 mm. And of course, we, have, we want the photographers, but the concept of X series is image quality and, comp and, and compact, being compact. So we want our photographers to actually should be able to shoot with the 100 to 400 handheld. So we've put a five-stop OIS image stabilization. That's optical image stabilization. This is a very, very powerful OIS. So it offers a strong five-stop, five stops OIS. Now, once again, let's see how it works. So this is without OIS. Yeah. And this is with OIS. It's five stops OIS. Now that's awesome. Very, very, very effective. And of course, 
thanks to the twin linear motor. So remember, kanina sa name niya may LM, that's linear motor. So there's two linear motors. So for fast and silent autofocus, so ideal for shooting, like if you're shooting events, if you're shooting um, live theater performances, so concerts, it's very silent, uh, I'd say 100 to 400, like of course, every other um, Fujinon lens that we have. And of course, the weight, it's under 1.4 kilos. So together with the XT1, it's actually, it actually weighs like 1.8 kilos long. And that's um, 600 grams lighter than direct, um, uh, our direct competitor. So 600 grams is very significant. So it's a big deal for us because we want our users to actually use their camera and not be held by the weight. And of course, it's weather dust resistant. So you get, you, know, you can use it um, outside for birding, for, for anything you like. And, you, and uh, you, you need not worry about um, uh, the harsh weather conditions. So here are sample images. We were recently in Tokyo, so this, uh, these images were uh, are from Lito C, as photographer Lito C. So this is what I was talking about. Eh? Um, no chromatic aberration. You don't have false colors. The sky is very blue. You get deep reds. You get the white is white. So um, imagine that technology inside the lens that gives you these um, colors. This is Yung Gundam in Odaiba. So this is a very, very tall statue of God, life, life-size statue of God. Of course, you can use it like this one for birding. Or just for art, artsy shots like this. This is my uh, ex photographer you can see. And um, uh, I know our ex-photographers have been clamoring for a new uh, flash. So this is our response to our consumers who have been wanting uh, a new flash for X series system. So the yeah, EF X five hundred is designed to be small. Again, it follows the whole X series concept of being compact and lightweight. So it's weather and dust resistant. Also, it supports it supports one over eight thousand shutter speed and multiple uh, TTL flash. And uh, it um, we we know and we hope that it will give more. Uh, Lighting creativity to our ex-users. Alright, um, quickly na lang, mabilis na lang. This is my last uh, product. So, X70, this is our last product. Uh, I won't go into ano na, TDS na. So, it's very, basically the concept lang of the X70 is very lightweight. It's the smallest and lightest X-series camera with APS-C sensor. So, it uses the same sensor size as that of the X-E2S, the X-Pro1 and the XT1. So it's thin and can be put in, in, in my pocket. So I use this when you're in Tokyo, it's very, very light, very thin. You can, I, I just put it in my pocket. And we want this camera to be carried anywhere. So it per, it's perfect for traveling or your night out with friends or when you do street shooting. It's very, uh, it's very, very good to use. So. Um, the X70 actually packs a new uh, lens. It's Fujinon 18.5 f2.8 lens. Uh, the 35mm equivalent is 28mm. Uh, so we managed to pack a newly developed lens inside this small body. However, we did not compromise, of course, the quality. It distributes light evenly. So it, can pr it produces high resolution, high quality image from edge to edge. And of course, uh, we want this camera to be an ideal camera for snap shooting. So if you want to with friends, you, you do snapshots of everything. So AF autofocus has to be fast and reliable. So like it's big brothers, it has, a face, it has face detection pixels. And of course, it has the zone and wide tracking for, for shooting. Um, moving uh, subjects. And of course, this is another first for the X-Series. It features a touch screen, touch panel LCD. So it's also tilting 180 degrees. So it gives you a lot of flexibility. You can do selfies, you can do low waist shots, you can do, uh, you can do uh, low shots. So for example, this is a photo by ex-photographer Saiza Bahani. So, so this is from a low angle shot. Or you can do, you can use it for a street, your street photography, right? She uh, usually says that you should have a finder, so 
uh, she uses the camera uh, in a low angle. From the hip, this is another uh, sample. This is uh, in low light, so it's still very good in low light. So you can go unnoticed. And of course, it features a digital converter. So you don't need to worry that it's just a single focal length because um, it has, uh, as I said, digital converter. So there, this is 21 mm, but at the same time, if you turn the control ring, it becomes 35 mm and then it becomes 50 mm. So that's the new feature. And of course, um, this may be a small camera, but the, uh, the, the XDNA still exists. As you can see, you have dials uh, on the top, and uh, you have still have the aperture ring uh, on the front. So it can be adjusted by one third stop, the, uh, the aperture ring. And of course, it has um, an optical, it, you can actually put an optical viewfinder. There's leather, a leather case, a lens hood, and a wide conversion lens. So it will be also available um, soon, very soon. So there, uh, we are very, actually very excited to kick off 2016 with uh, these new products. So let me just recap, if you want outstanding image quality and speed, go for the X-Pro2. XF100 to 400 will exceed the shooting range dramatically for the whole X-Series system. You, you have the new flash that will uh, make flash photography more creative. And if you want a compact camera, go for the X70 or, or the XC2S. So we are confident to say that we, with these new products, um, the X system will go to the next level. So thank you very much. We have a touch and try uh, 